people were starting to say it's an East Coast, West Coast rivalry because it was people just trying to make money. It was true people trying to make careers, it was people trying to get famous. You see Suge Knight uh, and then a lot of their cohorts down there, but uh, Tupac and Biggie at the top. And they're more important to the police on the streets than in here because they let them know what's going on. The untimely deaths of famed rappers Tupac Shakur and the infamous B. IG, also known as Biggie Smalls, have recently been the subject of surprising revelations, raising questions about Diddy, the music tycoon. According to rumors, David Mack, a former LAPD officer who was sentenced to time in prison, has chosen to reveal top-secret information connecting Diddy to the tragic deaths of the two rap icons. The circumstances of my existence as a result of the degree of power we possessed. We had that. It might have turned out very badly. Yeah. Thank you for visiting the Secret Life channel again. Fans around the world are clamoring for answers after these rappers, who are more than simply singers, but also icons of a period, had terribly unresolved catastrophes end their stories. Their infamous rivalry is well known. It grew in intensity and came to symbolize hostilities between the East and West coasts, inspiring rumors and conspiracies about their untimely demise. The involvement of iconic personalities like Diddy and David Mack adds another level of intricacy to this narrative, which is already rife with controversy, conspiracies, and speculative innuendos. Southside is up here, my homies. My friends, that happened at 662. Everyone carried a firearm. We were aware that it would be noteworthy. David Mack, a former LAPD officer who served as the community's protector, is said to be deeply involved in this unresolved case. His name has been linked to Marion Sujnight, the man behind Death Row Records, according to insider information and sources. On that terrible night in 1997, outside the Peterson Automotive Museum, Christopher Wallace, aka Biggie Smalls, was shot and killed. It's believed that Mac may have had a significant involvement in this crime. I believe that Biggie would have ended up on death row sooner or later since we were promoting a line that was about him. The unexplained deaths of Tupac and Biggie have long been the subject of enigmas and conjectures, many of which hint to a bitter rap war and gang fights. However, rumors circulate regarding Mac's subtly revealed information pointing at Diddy's potential financial gain and the underlying hostilities between Biggie and Diddy before to Biggie's death. Just as I had to call Biggie when we were struck with struck him up. We're not going to reply, I said. Someone is going to suffer harm. Let's first establish what is now known about Mac's involvement in the 1997 disaster before going into Mac's remarks in more detail former Los Angeles police officer and well-known athlete David A. Mack had previously gained notoriety while serving a 14-year jail sentence for robbing a bank. Yet, after his release in 2010, he remained silent and unnoticed. It was claimed that Mack and Marion Suge Knight, the founder of Death Row Records, collaborated to plan the murder and may have assigned Amir Muhammad, nicknamed Harry Billups, to carry it out. Legal counsel such as Donald M., Ray, Max attorney, denied these accusations as unfounded. Confidential LAPD documents echoed these claims concerning Max's involvement, which remained unanswered due to the absence of verifiable proof. Tupac's murder served as a stark reminder that danger lurks everywhere. Max's criminal activities were highlighted by his arrest in 1997 for a bank robbery in which he stole a stunning $722,000 that has never been recovered. After this occurrence, friends claimed he had ties to death row and night music, and circumstantial evidence connected him to the black impala seen at Wallace's murder site. You choose two business executives. You take Puffy. You take me. Biggie was very attractive, and I enjoy hearing him speak. Biggie cannot be taken away from. The notion was fueled by rumors that Mac had connections to death row records, along with other police officials. Although discrepancies in composite sketches raised questions, eyewitnesses from the day of Wallace's tragedy reported seeing an attacker who matched descriptions of Amir Mohammed. Despite the conflicting rumors and alleged connections, Mac has never been held accountable for Wallace's murder. 
After being released in 2010, Mac appeared to go away from the spotlight and live in private until his unexpected return. If Mac's purported words are true, it would have huge ramifications. The unsolved murder of Notorious B. I. G. has given rise to a number of hypotheses over the years, and new information from a person who was formerly suspected may change how the public views rivalry in the business and unmasking conspiracies. Tai. Recently, several illuminating revelations have surfaced, illuminating a situation filled with covert alliances and covert exchanges. Insiders have learned details that seem to change what is known about the historic 1,997 tragedy by tying David Mack, Diddy, and Biggie together in a complicated story. Me and Puff had previously agreed that, should the worst happen, nobody should be told my name in its entirety. However, a Mac confidant has revealed critical information in this covert ballet of silence and misinformation. Mac acknowledged having knowledge of the music industry's covert affiliations and clandestine battles behind the scenes in private conversations with insiders. I've witnessed it all. These new information sharpens the spotlight on Diddy's potential involvement. Although unproven, rumors within the industry speculate that such revelations about Diddy might alter how the general public perceives the renowned music icon, throwing a shadow of manipulation over his successful career. Between supporters and critics, these damaging assertions are provoking heated discussions and evaluations. Although it's not true, I've seen how the media has portrayed me as a mobster. So who are you? According to rumors, Biggie and Diddy were secretly at odds and that Biggie intended to leave Diddy for Suji Knight. If accurate, this revelation would have been a shocking turn of events during a period of fierce competition. According to a person close to Biggie, the rapper was torn between his objectives and his allegiances. The music world was buzzing with hushed rumors about his potential seismic shift, which would have completely changed the face of music. Unprecedented perspectives on this story are revealed by the reported conflict between Biggie and Diddy, including unseen struggles for power and covert threats of retaliation. A careful examination of this rift's veracity has prompted a thorough reevaluation of the alliances and rivalries that characterize this time. Yo, we showed Diddy, I said. Yes, he replied. He said yo and big. Insiders who have spoken privately with Mac shared his opinions on this alleged altercation, and his remarks paint a vivid and terrifying picture. A representation of the 1990s industrial dynamics, Mick shared his conviction that Biggie and Diddy are deeply at odds with one another. He allegedly told his confidants. There was a fierce battle going on in the background. It was a time when clandestine power battles and aggressive tactics were commonplace. The competitive nature of the industry may lead to unfathomable deeds as it was brutal. His words suggest a harsh, unforgiving world where survival and personal interests collided, allowing for the possibility of extreme acts. He is said to have said that he was a strategic thinker who was well-versed in the industry. He could plan an extermination to make money and destroy a rival. Money and power at the period clouded judgment and muddled moral boundaries. According to Max discoveries, the music industry is rife with covert feuds and covert conflicts, and Diddy is portrayed as someone who wouldn't think twice about committing the ultimate crime in order to gain financial advantage and a competitive edge. These revelations imply a complicated and dangerous scenario of alliances and conflicts, which heightens the necessity to investigate and comprehend the underlying forces that may have driven and influenced the interactions among the dominant companies at the time. It was about Puffy obtaining the chance to pursue a career as a rapper when Biggie went away. Because Puffy wouldn't have been a rapper if Biggie hadn't gone. Mac's unexpected admission makes it unclear why he did what he did. Is this an effort to find the truth and a solution? Or is it a complex scheme of self-interest and extortion? David, according to someone who once worked with Mac, is a complicated person who has experienced both light and shadow. There is a lot of speculation about why he decides to speak now. Verifying Max claims is important because of his enigmatic personality. Underscoring the value of a comprehensive and astute research, these might either be shocking facts or a painstakingly constructed web of lies.
The repercussions of these disclosures reverberate throughout the industry, potentially straining and redefining professional and personal relationships inside it as we delve deeper into this secretive domain of conceivable duplicity and unrevealed fact. There is growing speculation about how these revelations might affect Diddy's current associations. Fans and many in the industry are left to wonder whether these revelations are true or just rumors stoked by hidden grudges, resulting in discussions that could resurrect and amplify dormant animosities and unresolved conflicts.